Hello and welcome. This is the Mobile Vetter Design camper van, the K6.5, uh, on a Fiat Ducato, and this is going to cost 88,000 euros. Now it's quite a lot for a Fiat Ducato camper van, so you're going to expect something a bit more special in it. Well, it starts off with having a nice uh, logo up there and a uh, rather attractive design here. It also has a rather odd feature in as much as this part here will actually come out. There you go. <laughs> that is unusual. And uh, also, not just that, but also this part here will also come out like this. How about that? And under there, you've got your sink. It's hidden. It's a hidden sink. This thing's called Admiral, uh, probably because the sink's hidden. Uh, in the back, uh, sorry, in, <laughs> under the two hobs, uh, which is normal in a camper van. We've got here a fridge. And below that, we've got a wardrobe. Now, at the back, this is a clever bit. Unfortunately, it's already been broken, as you can see here. But we've got this bed, which will go up and down. And uh, so, if you want it to go up, you'll get all stacks of space in here. You can see this has got space for a motorbike or something along like that. And here we've got uh, if you, if you want, where you're going to be sleeping. And what's clever about this is that this, you can put this at any height which you want, whichever suits you best. Uh, the rear, we've also got attractive looking front to the uh, storage. Uh, is the toilet and I'll turn the light on if it's working. No, it's not working at all. I've just, I've just turned it off, sorry. Uh, well anyway, so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll have to do without the light. So there you go, there's the toilet, a shower, quite large for a, a Fiat Ducato conversion. Now, the problem with Mobile Vetta is it does have a bit of a reputation. Uh, oh, there's the bed going up and down, you can see, um, for things falling into bits. And I've just seen that happen here. Now, that shouldn't be going up and down with the 12 volt turned off. Can't explain that, but it's it's working. It's turned off and I can't turn it back on again. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Good, let's uh, come out to the back. Oh, I do like the nautical look on the floor here. And I do like the amount of light coming in. But let's uh, come, oops. That was my fault for not closing it. <laughs> let's come to the uh, back and uh, we can see what we've got here is the um, bed, which will go up and down. Uh, lots of space. Let's maximum load 250. Do not have anything, well, except for you know, sheets and things on it when it's going up and down. Let's let's press the button and see if it will work. Now, what you can see here, though, is you've got plenty of room for a motorbike or uh, anything. Really, lots of space up there. Uh, additionally. You can see there, there what position the bed's in. Obviously, the, the storage is going to get in your way. Uh, if one of the bed is completely down, it's a bit wider because the sides of the walls are sloped. So you've got the bed uh, here as well. And additionally, you've got some storage in the sides. Uh, here, we've got the gas cupboard. Right, so uh, the it comes in other the admiral comes in other forms as well. This one's got a tent in the roof, and it's got a fixed bed at the back. Uh, note the sign Mobile Vetta. It, the lighting looks really quite elegant inside. This is the K6.3, and this has got uh, lengthwise beds at the back. 
it's a German layout, you can make a huge bed, or you can have separate beds if you want. Of course, these bars also will come out uh, should you uh, want to store something in between the beds, or indeed you could put one mattress up to one side. Uh, in here, put the fridge uh, and the front. Let's see if this. Let's see if the lights working in here to give you an idea of what the bathroom actually looks like. <laughs> Two burners, hidden sink. I mean, it look. It is. Re it's very, very elegant inside. The problem is the the quality of the finishings unfortunately and uh, it's the same with the motorhomes as well it's very strange to think that the automobile is such good motorhomes I mean reliable and uh, these ones are less so anyway good so there's the uh, Admiral it comes in two sizes six meters and 636 centimeters And whilst I'm here, I'm going to show you some of the other, it's from the same company. Uh, so you've got camper vans here from Randger. Got different names on, but it's all owned. The, 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 the capital group is the, is the same. Uh, we've got Benimar, uh, okay, they're um, Fiat Ducato camper vans. Uh, may, got a different design, but at the end, end of the day, the handiwork, um, the layout, uh, is exactly the same. Uh, we have um, Roller Team, which also has exactly the same models, only the uh, handiwork and um, the uh, work inside is exactly the same. And the Challenger, once more, it's the same story. It's a Fiat Ducato camper van. Now, the only ones I think which are comparable to uh, mobile Veta design in terms of a design layout, uh, meaning elegance, are those camper vans from Automobile, but you'll have to see them in a separate video. So, for the moment, uh, thanks for watching. This is me in uh, Hall 10 at Caravan Salon Dusseldorf. There's 17 halls here, so there is a huge amount uh, to be seen at this event so i'll take you back down to the one i started with which is here and uh so k6.5 from uh mobile Veta design the admiral fiat ducato camper van uh thanks so much for watching i upload every uh, day at 21:15. this is the largest collection of motorhomes and camper vans on youtube so i uh have quite a lot of things here to see. Not only that, there's also things related to van life, such as motorhome camper van equipment and places I've been to and uh, campsites, which I've stopped at. I have been living in the van now for 12 years uh, in the Italy, United Kingdom, Poland, Germany, and several countries in between. So thanks for watching and all the best from me in Dusseldorf, Germany.